Mikey Williams is facing multiple charges tonight. Found several weapons inside Mikey Williams' home. Faces up to 28 years in prison. He said, we better get to stepping or we're going to leave with bullet holes. Out of custody on $50,000 bail. Two years ago, we saw Mikey flashing this infectious smile, tearing up the court, and living his best life. It still hasn't really hit me yet. Feels good being on any court at any time. Uh, he's got chairs at the moment. But rewind to just one month ago, and you'd catch him in a courtroom facing a completely different reality. San Isidro High School basketball star Mikey Williams is facing multiple charges tonight related to a shooting in Hamul. As you can see, he is a completely different person. This prodigy basketball prospect seemed to have his hoop dreams on hold, but now he is back in the spotlight. Despite the bumps in the road, the hoop dream isn't dead. It's all over. It's all over. So, Mikey, how you feeling after the court today? I feel good, brother. You know, all glory to God. I'm just happy that I made it out of this situation, you know, but I'm just excited to get back to the court. He might have just found a lifeline to his college dreams. It's a comeback story in the making. But before we get into that, let's rewind and get to know the man behind the headlines, Mikey Williams. Born on June 26, 2004, out of the basketball hotbed in San Diego, California, Mikey was destined for greatness. His ride of stardom was nothing short of meteoric, with everyone pegging him as the next big thing. The guys got the moves, the dunks, and the scoring prowess that made him a walking bucket. NBA franchises had their eyes set on him, envisioning a future star in the making. But then, everything took a sudden turn. A judicial turmoil came into play that derailed Mikey's hooping journey. The rising star was facing a challenge that changed the trajectory of his entire career. What happened? Well, we're getting into the nitty gritty of all of it too, so stick around. Let's take a look at Mikey's roots. Born into a sports-centric family, Mikey's genes are infused with the love of the game. His pops, Milan, balled out for Sweetwater High School, earning that all-CIF SDS selection. His mom, Sharice, wasn't slacking either. She repped Kearney High School on the softball field before heading to Hampton University. As you can see, it's clear the Williams house was all about that sports life. Early Days Mikey's basketball journey started on the concrete courts behind their family's apartment. He was balling out while being guided by his old man, drilling through the basics of the game. But he also soaked up game-changing lessons from godmother Malcolm Thomas and family friend Tyrone Shelley both of whom made waves at San Diego State. But elementary school wasn't all sunshine and rainbows for Mikey. He found himself in the ring with bullies, throwing down when he needed to. But the gym was his sanctuary. As a ball boy for San Isidro High School head coach Terry Tucker, Mikey practically lived there. As Terry Tucker put it, he couldn't keep him away. That passion for the game was already burning bright. Mikey's stardom was a national spectacle. Crowds, cameras, autograph hunters, he had it all. It wasn't only about hometown glory. Mikey and his travel team had their eyes on the USBA National Championships. The hype was real and the stakes were high. But as they say, with great fame comes great expectations. Not everyone was on the Mikey train. Skeptics saw danger in hyping up a middle school prodigy. And let's be honest, expecting NBA stardom at that age is a stretch. The pressure was intense and Mikey felt it. The Williams family was determined to ride the Mikey Mania wave. They leveraged platforms like TikTok and Instagram as they marketed Mikey like a brand. Carefully curated content showcased his dedication on the court, stylish outfits, and glimpses of a flashy future. Even standing next to a sports car that he couldn't legally drive. It was a statement, a declaration that Mikey was there to make his mark, and the world better take notice. High School When Mikey hit high school, it was game on. The Williams family threw caution to the wind, making a bold move by inviting the media powerhouse over time into their lives. Cameras were rolling everywhere Mikey went, capturing the essence of his incredible journey. In the debut episode, Mikey unleashed a mind-blowing 360 behind the back dunk. This set shockwaves through the basketball world, and just like that, he smashed the 1 million Instagram follower mark. The Williams family marked the occasion with a cake adorned with seven candles, a symbolic one followed by six zeros. Mikey was building a kingdom of followers. A million strong, rubbing digital shoulders with heavyweights while he was just a teenager. Fast forward to the end of sophomore year, and we're talking about a jaw-dropping 3.2 million followers. The kid was a social media sensation. 
But it wasn't just about the numbers, it was about the message, sitting like a king on a throne chair against the backdrop of his hometown. Mikey broke it down for the overtime cameras. It signifies, I'm not up next, I'm up right now, he declared, setting the tone of what was to come. The moment marked only the beginning of his extraordinary ride. His stardom was reaching new heights and it seemed like there were no limits. But as we're about to discover, fame comes with its own set of challenges. Even before high school, Mikey had already carved out a spot as one of the hottest prospects in the class of 2023. The comparisons to none other than Bronny James, LeBron's kin, were swirling around. The court was buzzing and Mikey's name was on everyone's lips. Mikey hit the high school basketball scene like a hurricane, making his freshman debut at San Isidro High School. And what a debut it was. A mind-blowing 46-point performance, but that was just the tip of the iceberg. In the very next game, Williams cranked it up a notch, dropping 50 points. And if you thought that was impressive, brace yourself. In a showdown against Kearney High School, Mikey went off for a career-high 77 points, sinking nine threes in the process. Not only did he break the CIF San Diego section single-game scoring record, but he also set the state freshman record for single-game scoring. This kid was rewriting history. The headlines were ablaze with Mikey's name in his freshman year, where he averaged 29.9 points, 6.7 rebounds, and 4.9 assists per game. He was putting up a show on the court, and the standout performance earned him the prestigious Max Preps National Freshman of the Year honors. Now, entering his sophomore year, Williams decided to switch things up. He left the West Coast vibes of San Diego and headed east to Lake Norman Christian School. It was a move that raised eyebrows, but Mikey was all about chasing growth and new challenges. But fast forward to his senior year, and Mikey pulls off a plot twist. He made a triumphant return to his roots, his original high school, San Isidro High School. College Recruitment Mikey experienced many ups and downs and set records. Despite this, he stayed in high demand for college basketball recruitment. The heavyweight programs came knocking, with Kansas and USC showing serious interest. The basketball powerhouses saw the potential in Mikey's game, recognizing the star power he brought to the court. However, not everything was smooth sailing. Rumors started swirling around Mikey. Reports suggested he might skip college basketball and use an alternate route to the NBA. This uncertainty made some big-time programs pump the brakes. Hesitations crept in as they weighed the risks and rewards of securing a player who might have a different path in mind. But the suspense finally ended in November 2022 when Mikey, alongside San Isidro teammate J.J. Taylor, dropped the bombshell. They were committing to Memphis after a visit to the school. The Tiger Nation was buzzing and the duo was set to bring their game to a whole new level. Mikey was ready to hit the court for Coach Penny Hardaway in the 2023-24 season, but then everything changed. The legal drama unfolded for over eight months. The stakes were high and the future of his basketball career hung in the balance. Mikey had emerged as one of the earliest stars of the name, image, and likeness era. He had secured a multi-year deal with Puma in 2021 for an undisclosed amount, with millions of followers across his social media platforms, his NIL valuation was estimated at a staggering $3.6 million by On3.com. The hype was real, the endorsements were rolling in, but then came the legal storm that cast a shadow over it all. At just 19, Mikey seemed to have it all. He had a million-dollar NIL, he had endorsements from Gatorade and Overtime Elite, and an incredible basketball career lay ahead. But in April 2023, the script took an unexpected twist, plunging Mikey's life into uncertainty. The Incident Williams was preparing to hit the court for Memphis, but after a late-night incident last spring, he found himself in the eye of the storm. This incident led to his arrest on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon. Allegedly upset by unexpected visitors at his $1.2 million hilltop home east of San Diego, Mikey allegedly threatened to shoot them. The situation escalated when he allegedly fired a handgun at their departing vehicle. The gunfire caused damage but miraculously left the six occupants unharmed. The legal repercussions were swift. At the time of the incident, the 18-year-old faced multiple counts of assault with a firearm, carrying a potential penalty of up to 30 years in prison. But Mikey posted a $50,000 bond, securing his release amid a storm of legal uncertainty. In the aftermath, the University of Memphis made a decisive statement. They stated, 
While Mikey Williams remains on the roster, he will not have access to team-related facilities or activities until his pending legal process in California is complete. But in a December 2023 courtroom turn, Mikey pleaded guilty to a lesser charge. This was a pivotal moment in a case that had once loomed over his basketball future. Initially facing a daunting nine felony counts, prosecutors announced a significant reduction. The nine felony accounts were cut down to a single misdemeanor. This completely changed the trajectory of Williams' legal battle. But while the plea deal offered a lifeline, it came with conditions. Mikey must fulfill certain requirements before his sentencing date in August 2024. These include completing 80 hours of community service, gun safety courses, and anger management programs. Additionally, a 10-year prohibition on owning a firearm was imposed. Looking ahead, if Williams follows the rules of the agreement and doesn't commit more crimes, the smaller charge becomes active. The lawyer for Williams says that even though a judge can still decide, there is no thought of going to jail. Amid the legal turbulence, Memphis showcased resilience on the court. The Tigers have an impressive 15-2 record to start the season. This shows they could contend even without Williams. With losses to only Villanova and Ole Miss, the team highlighted their depth and strength. Endorsement Fallout Mikey saw a significant hit to his brand. The charges he faced cost him big time, and the repercussions were hitting where it hurts the most, his endorsements. Puma, the global brand, had made him the first American high school basketball player to score a sneaker deal with a global company at just 17. However, Puma spokeswoman Melissa Garbayo confirmed that they cut ties with Williams. And it's not just Puma. Other endorsements swiftly reversed the course. Lace Clips, an earlier endorsement, was also revoked. Jonathan Nussbaum, the president of Lace Clips, made it crystal clear. He said, he is not someone that will be associated with our brand going forward. The financial fallout from lost endorsements was massive. Once a four-star prospect, Mikey Williams' stock had been on a decline even before his legal troubles. He is currently ranked 49th on ESPN 100 and 39th on 24-7 Sports. The fall in rankings reflects a narrative of fading star power due to his off-court issues. But even before his arrest, Mikey's star had lost some of its luster. He dropped to 71st and rivals his class of 2023 rankings. His decision to step back from major grassroots events in a less than impressive senior season contributed to the decline. Major colleges started losing interest, and NBA scouts also cooled on the once highly touted prospect. Transfer Amid the evolving landscape, Mikey made a significant decision. He entered the transfer portal after learning that his return to action for the Memphis Tigers was under discussion. The committee evaluating his situation was assessing whether he'd be allowed to play in the 2023-24 as well as the 2024-25 season. In an official statement, Memphis confirmed Mikey Williams' entry into the transfer portal. They said, We can confirm Mikey Williams has chosen to enter the transfer portal. The university process for him to join the men's basketball program was underway, but Williams elected to explore his options at this time. Now, for those unfamiliar with the transfer portal, here's the lowdown. The NCAA Transfer Portal is a private database of all NCAA sports across Division I, II, and III. It serves as a platform for student-athletes wishing to transfer. However, it's important to note that this database is not accessible to the public. The transfer process starts when a player submits written notification of their intent to transfer to their school's compliance office. Within 48 hours, the compliance office must comply with the player's request, and refusal is not an option. Once the player's name is in the portal, other schools can start contact. Players, however, retain the flexibility to change their minds and withdraw from the portal. Now, a key aspect is that once a player enters the portal, the current scholarship obligation is no longer set in stone. If a player decides to stay after entering the portal, the school is no longer obligated to provide a scholarship. This adds a layer of complexity to the decision-making process for both the players and the schools involved. Players can also request a do not contact tag. It indicates they don't wish to be contacted by other schools unless they initiate communication. It's a measure to control the transfer process and maintain some level of privacy and control over the decision making. The University of Central Florida contacted Mikey and made a pivotal move, deciding to transfer from Memphis to UCF. His lawyer, Troy P. Owens, shed light on the decision saying, 
Had the committee ruled that Mr. Williams could not play in the 2024-2025 season, he faced the possibility of missing two years of basketball. This was not something that Mr. Williams was willing to risk. In a surprising twist, Williams announced his transfer to UCF in an Instagram post. He wrote, All I need was a chance. This signaled a fresh start with the Knights. This marks a significant moment for UCF. Mikey is now one of the highly touted players to commit to the program. Notable names like Marcus Jordan and Taco Fall held this title before. Mikey's decision to transfer wasn't a solo move, though. Memphis freshman J.J. Taylor, a close friend of Williams, also announced his intention to transfer. Memphis head coach Penny Hardaway expressed his support for Mikey's decision to move on. The former Orlando Magic star said, He has the right to do what he needs to do for himself, and I wish him well. Throughout Mikey's legal saga, Penny Hardaway had consistently voiced strong public support for the star recruit. That's what I'm in this business for, to stick my neck out on the line for kids and young men and hope that they appreciate it. I think those young men both have bright futures and they have every right to do what they want. I really wanted to coach both. I really did. Mikey and I still are in touch, but he has a right to do what he needs to do for himself and I wish him well. I'm going to stay in touch with him for sure. Memphis Stint Mikey's stint at Memphis was marked by legal battles that prevented him from stepping onto the court. The legal proceedings took center stage, sidelining the talented guard. Mikey was enrolled in online classes and on the roster. However, access to team facilities or activities remained off-limits throughout the legal battle in a suburban San Diego courtroom. The immediate future for Mikey Williams at UCF is uncertain. It's still being determined whether he'll be immediately available for action or if he'll have to wait until the 2024-25 season to hit the court for the Knights. And this adds an element of suspense to his transition to UCF. UCF's Game Changer the Knights have added a four-star guard, Mikey Williams, to the roster. This signals a potentially transformative moment for the program. The Knights are eager to integrate Mikey into the lineup. However, there are challenges regarding his immediate eligibility to play this year. The complexities of navigating the transfer process and NCAA regulations make it a tough hurdle. If he can hit the court right away, no worries. A half season with the program could still bring substantial benefits for Williams and the Knights. Even if he is unable to play immediately, the stint with UCF offers valuable opportunities. He can use this time to get stronger and acclimate to the demands of being a college student-athlete. He can also grasp Coach Dawkins' system and benefit from mentorship by existing players on the team. It's a chance for holistic development that extends beyond the court. Looking ahead, UCF's backcourt for the future seems promising. The Knights have only one commitment in the 2024 class, three-star combo guard Kyle Green. Even if delayed, the potential addition of Mikey Williams could solidify the Knights' future backcourt. The mix of experience and emerging talent sets the stage for an exciting chapter in UCF basketball. The Road Ahead Many believe that this is stepping down a level is a strategic move for Mikey. The shift will provide him with the environment to focus on personal and basketball development. A standout performance in this setting might open doors to high major programs in the near future. Drawing parallels to the recent transfer of former Memphis Tiger Amani Bates to Eastern Michigan showcases the potential positive impact of a change in environment. Bates excelled there with an average of 19.2 points per game. This slower-paced setting might offer Mikey Williams the opportunity to hone his skills. He might also potentially follow a similar trajectory. UCF, with its basketball program, presents Williams with a platform for image rehabilitation both on and off the floor. The move offers him a chance to redefine his narrative and prove his capabilities in a new setting. It's an opportunity he's expressed a hunger for, stating that all he needed was a chance. Beyond the game Mikey's incidents serve as a vital lesson, emphasizing that young athletes need more than just athletic prowess. Scoring points or hitting home runs is crucial, but it's equally important to understand the unique position and trajectory of their athletic careers. One critical aspect young athletes must be schooled in is dealing with stardom. It goes beyond the game, teaching them how to navigate the spotlight and make wise decisions. Staying away from dangerous situations and influences becomes a crucial skill in their toolkit. Unfortunately, not every young athlete is blessed with proper guidance or a robust support system. In these vulnerable moments, wrong influences can creep in. They can lead to erroneous decisions even within a supportive environment. There needs to be more than talent alone. It must be coupled with wisdom, discipline, and the ability to listen. 
Mikey's journey shows the importance of making sound choices off the court. It demonstrates that life skills are just as pivotal as athletic skills. For Mikey, the narrative isn't just about returning to the spotlight as a talented athlete, it's about reclaiming his life and rewriting a future marked by triumph over tragedy. The focus shifts from the game to personal growth and resilience, but for now, only time will tell. And speaking of Mikey, dive deeper into the details of his gun incident and arrest. Prized recruit Mikey Williams walked out of a San Diego courtroom today saying he's excited to get back to the court. All glory to God, I'm just happy that I made it out of this situation, you know, but I'm just excited to get back to the court. You won't believe what went down in the courtroom with none other than the high-flying sensation himself, Mikey Williams. Yeah, Mikey Williams finally did it. The former high school sensation just sidestepped the legal storm and came out on top. The guy who was making headlines for his moves on the hardwood found himself making strategic moves in the courtroom. Imagine facing the possibility of a 30-year sentence hanging over your head, and then, out of nowhere, the script flips. Mikey has managed to dodge prison time, and the details are nothing short of mind-blowing. Stick around, because today we're spilling all the details on Mikey Williams' legal slam dunk, how he went from a potential 30-year sentence to a single misdemeanor conviction with no prison time. Yeah, you heard me right, no prison time. It's the comeback story that's got everyone talking, and today we're diving deep into Mikey Williams' wild courtroom victory. Now, if you've been living under a rock, let me catch you up to speed. Mikey Williams, the young basketball sensation, has been facing some serious legal trouble. The saga started back in March when authorities in San Diego County arrested him for allegedly firing a handgun into the occupied vehicle outside his hilltop home. San Diego County authorities didn't waste time, arresting Williams in April after a report of a shooting outside his home on March 27, 2023. An argument sparked a group of five people leaving, and as they drove away, gunshots echoed in the night. The stakes were high, and the allegations were even higher. Five counts of assault with a weapon, plus one for firing into an occupied vehicle. But that wasn't the end of it. In October, prosecutors added three more charges, turning the legal heat up on Mikey. But he wasn't backing down. From the get-go, he pleaded not guilty when the charges hit him in April. In an October preliminary hearing, a judge ruled that there was substantial evidence to take the case to trial. Now, fast forward to the recent developments, and a deal was sealed in El Cajon Superior Court during a readiness hearing leading up to a December 14, 2023 jury trial. November 30th, 2023 is a date Mikey might never forget. He made a surprising move, pleading guilty. Not to all nine counts, but to two felony charges before Judge Roderick W. Shelton. One for making criminal threats, and the other for personal use of a firearm in the commission of a crime. The firearms charge is set to be dismissed, and the criminal threat charge will be reduced to a misdemeanor at Mikey's sentencing on August 12th, 2024. But, and it's a big but, there are some hoops he's got to jump through. Mikey has to complete anger management and gun safety classes, engage in cognitive behavioral therapy, and put in 80 hours of community service. Any slip up, and this deal goes out the window. Even a minor traffic violation could send everything crashing down. Randy Grossman, the seasoned criminal defense attorney who recently joined Mikey's legal squad said, I've spoken to Mikey a lot. He accepts full responsibility for his actions on that night in March. He was an 18 year old kid. He felt threatened when a car full came there. He recognizes the mistakes in judgment he made. He vows for that to never happen again. He wants to continue to be a role model for kids out there. What he did was wrong and he wants to caution them to not make the same mistakes he made. In a heartfelt video posted on social media, Mikey himself spoke out. All glory to God, I'm just happy I made it out of this situation. I'm just excited to get back to the court. It's a redemption pledge, a commitment to rise above the storm, and come back stronger than ever. The reactions. And the reactions to Mikey's roller coaster ride have been pouring in. On the X platform, formerly Twitter, one user expressed intrigue stating, This is crazy. Really intrigued to hear what happened, and hopefully he gets back out there soon. The roller coaster of emotions continues with supporters rallying behind Mikey, shouting, Let's go, Mikey. TF knew you was innocent, boy. However, not all messages are filled with positivity. Some critics are less forgiving, suggesting, Man needs to be on a one-way flight to China and go play overseas. 
The court of public opinion can be harsh, and Mikey is facing both cheers and jeers in the aftermath of his legal battles. Now, let's talk numbers. Two felonies on the table could have meant a whopping 13 years behind bars, but Grossman assures us that no custody is anticipated. The misdemeanor with a maximum of one year is on the table, but it seems like Mikey is steering clear of that too. Grossman stated, The kid lived a crime-free life for 18 years. I don't anticipate something happening at this point. I think he's going to be extra careful. Back to college? That's the burning question echoing through the Hoops community. Mikey's status at the University of Memphis is unknown. The real head-scratcher, though, is not that just when will he hit the hardwood, but if the University of Memphis will let him lace up those sneakers. Mikey, the crown jewel of Memphis's 2023 signing class, was expected to be the shining star of this year's team. However, coach Penny Hardaway stacked the roster with seasoned veterans from the transfer portal after the 2022-23 season. The Tigers are off to a 5-1 start, eyeing their third consecutive NCAA tournament appearance, but where does Mikey fit into this revamped equation? Let's rewind a bit. In 2022, Eric Bossy, the national basketball director at 24-7 Sports, had this to say about Mikey. He's a good ball handler with wiggle off the dribble who finds and exploits cracks in the defense. There is a natural flair and charisma that comes along with his game. High praise, right? But can that charisma translate into a seamless fit with the current Tiger squad? Well, time will tell. Here's the twist, though. Mikey hasn't even practiced with the team yet. While his legal battle unfolds in California, he has been holding it down in the West Coast, far from the hardwood in Memphis. The university stated in September, highlighting that though enrolled in online classes and officially on the roster, Mikey's on the sidelines until the legal storm clears. Grossman stated that he has been in contact with Memphis's heads, Coach Penny Hardaway, and Athletic Director Laird Veach while the negotiations on the plea agreement were in full swing. University Stance He said, They are still very supportive of Mikey. They believe in him, so we'll see. I don't know how they're going to view this now. On the one hand, you could say the case is still pending because he hasn't been sentenced. On the other hand, he has pled guilty. Maybe they say pleading guilty to a felony disqualifies him currently, but a misdemeanor they don't have an issue with. In the legal world, there's usually a full year between a guilty plea and sentencing, especially in cases with deferred judgment. But Mikey's legal team, in cahoots with prosecutor George Maudlin and the district attorney's office, pulled off some legal wizardry. They trimmed it down to less than nine months, a move that could be a game changer for William's career. The Dark Cloud now, the alleged incident happened shortly before midnight on March 27, 2023. A white Tesla rolled up to Mikey's 3,500-square-foot fortress. Five individuals plus a driver were all prompted by a high school student dating J.J. Taylor, Mikey's teammate committed to Memphis and living in the same house. The teen girl, whose identity remains undisclosed due to her minor status, testimony in the preliminary hearing painted a chilling picture. She went inside to meet J.J., but Mikey wasn't having it. Upset by their presence, he unleashed a barrage of threats. The girl recounted, He said we'd leave with bullet holes and we're up in the mountains so no one would be able to save us or help us. He was threatening us with all kinds of threats. I was trying to calm the mood down and so was JJ. Another witness testified saying, Mikey claimed he was going to get his gun, then Mikey disappeared in the house. Several witnesses reported seeing Williams exiting the house holding a handgun with a red laser just as they were getting into the car to depart. But no one testified to witnessing Mikey firing the gun. Their accounts only attested to the Tesla being targeted. The prosecution proved these claims with photographic evidence revealing four bullet holes in the trunk and rear window. Now, Grossman's maneuvering in the legal arena is a masterclass. You see, it's not about what Mikey did, but the perception of the threat he posed. The narrative shifts from gunshots to the display of a firearm. It's a subtle but crucial move in the courtroom chess match. Mikey technically didn't plead guilty to firing the gun. The plea was for issuing threats and brandishing the firearm was just one chilling part of that threat. The NIL Dilemma Mikey Williams was an early trailblazer in the name, image, and likeness era locking in a multi-year deal with Puma in 2021. Millions followed his every move on social media until he seemingly deactivated his accounts. His NIL valuation, once soaring at $3.6 million according to On3.com, took a hit as brands distanced themselves following his legal woes. The question now is, can Mikey reclaim his status as an NIL sensation? 
The landscape has shifted and the road to redemption seems uncertain. The lucrative deals that once adorned his journey are now gone. No, Mikey Williams was a top basketball draft pick. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I heard Memphis. about this. And he got caught with the gun. Five counts of assault with a deadly weapon uh, using a firearm. I mean, I, you know, to me, it's the company you keep. You know, so if you're around dudes, you know, you know, um, like that's why, like I always said, and I don't like to always bring up 50 and, but when he used to always say, yo, stop selling drugs because we're about to take it to another level. I'm looking at him like he was crazy, but mm -hmm. I understand what he was saying. So if you're playing basketball and you're the top prospect, if your circle is not telling you, yo, stay out of trouble, because usually that's what dudes do on the block. You've seen like Mikey, right? Yeah, Mikey Williams. These guys are like 16, 17. They're making six figures in the high school age. Yeah, overtime elite. How, yeah. how bad is that for their not future, a fan. you think? Yeah, I'm not a fan. I mean, because He's a 16. lot of the kids... You know, there's a difference between potentially being an NBA player and being good for Instagram. Mikey Williams is the ultimate 21st century prospect. Williams made a big splash in eighth grade when he played AAU basketball with LeBron James Jr. Now, when you're stealing the spotlight from Bronny, you know you're onto something. The dude's bounce in transition and handle one-on-one -on -one made him an instant sensation. He was quick to capitalize on the name, image, and likeness era, snagging a multi-year deal with Puma in 2021 but they are no longer in cahoots, as Melissa Garbayo said in late October 2023, leaving us all wondering about the details of the breakup. On3.com once valued Mikey's NIL at a cool $3.6 million, but he's nowhere to be found in the current rankings. High School Journey It wasn't all smooth. He started at San Isidro, snatching a CIF SDS Division III championship as a freshman and dropping nearly 30 points a game. Then he switched gears and joined Lake Norman Christian High School, and he continued to impress with an average of 21.2 points per game. But like any great story, he circled back to where it all began, San Isidro. He flexed his skills, averaging 23.2 points, 9.2 assists, and 3.2 rebounds per game. It's safe to say he left a legacy. College the recruiting game was strong for Mikey, with offers from Arizona State, North Carolina, USC, and other top colleges on the table. But in a move that shook the college basketball landscape, he decided to commit to the Memphis Tigers. But before Williams even stepped onto the collegiate court with the Memphis Tigers, life took an unexpected turn with some court drama. Now, we're not here to dive into the legal woes. You can catch up on that in our previous Mikey videos. But as they say, there's light at the end of the tunnel, and we're focusing on the brighter side. As of now, the question lingers. Will Mikey don the Memphis Tigers jersey? Well, that decision rests in the hands of the university, and the anticipation is real. The basketball world is waiting to see Mikey hit the hardwood. Now, let's shift gears and talk about what matters most. Mikey's game, starting with his offense. Offense. Mikey's offensive game is a symphony of athleticism and precision. The open floor is where he thrives. His incredible jumping power off both feet enables him to play above the rim. He can catch passes in crowded areas or perform powerful dunks while advancing the ball. And his shooting stroke is as natural as a sunrise. But there's a catch. Finishing in traffic isn't his strong suit. He's the sprinter, not the bruiser. His vision in transition sets him apart. He can make pinpoint passes and find open teammates when the defense commits to him. In the half court, Mikey's role shifted at Lake Norman, but that didn't stop him from showcasing his offensive arsenal. As a primary ball handler, he leans towards the pull-up game in isolation. His footwork is smooth, creating separation with slick sidesteps and step backs, and while he has got deep range, his shooting can be streaky, often favoring volume over efficiency. Handles Mikey has got the handles, no doubt, but when it comes to creating for others against a set defense, he's not your go-to playmaker. He's the guy you want sprinting down the court, not orchestrating in the half court. A sidekick with point guard skills becomes a necessity to unlock his full offensive potential. His handles may be less than advanced, but his quick first step allows him to blow by defenders in his age group on a straight line drive. Mikey's pick and roll game shows promise, but there's room for growth. While he can attack either side of the pick and connect with the roll man against soft traps, the finesse with playing with pace is a work in progress. Timing those on-the-move lobs and consistently hitting weak side shooters are aspects he's yet to master. 
When denied access to the rim, his go-to moves involved a one-dribble three-pointer off the ball screen or an elbow pull-up with a slick sidestep. His comfort zone lies in forcing the issue against the crowd. He employs spin and hesitation moves to weave through traffic or utilizes his balance to power through contact. However, this strategy is risky but can also be rewarding, and the winning position is not always guaranteed without the whistle. As a two-foot leaper, Mikey showcases hang time and the occasional acrobatic finish, but there's a missing piece. The strength to consistently finish through contact. The raw athleticism is there, but the finishing finesse is a puzzle piece he's still putting together. Mikey's catch and shoot game is where he shines brightest. With a smooth approach, a low release out in front, and compact mechanics, he has a quick trigger that catches defenders off guard. The elevation he gets is impressive, allowing him to shoot over most closeouts with ease. Defense Mikey has got the basics down when it comes to on-ball defense. He's not afraid to get low, bend those knees, and get toe-to-toe -to -toe with his man. He shines in the one-on-one -on -one battle, especially against average operators and even taller players. His 185-pound frame, considering his height and age, gives him the muscle to hold his ground against skinnier opponents. Now, when it comes to pick-and-roll situations, the intensity takes a bit of a hit. Rarely do we see Mikey fighting to go over ball screens or hustling to challenge shots or deflect passes from behind. There's room for improvement in the hustle department. Off Ball Off the ball, Mikey's stance on the weak side defense isn't exactly textbook. He's not actively participating to help defense, leaving something to be desired. Despite his bounce, he is not the rim protector or rebounding force you might expect. He is attentive enough to avoid getting burned by his man, but he's not diving into scrums to disrupt plays near the basket. And speaking of rebounding, Mikey's efforts in that department isn't turning heads. Whether it's helping box out opponents or using his bounce to snatch the ball off the rim, there's room for improvement. It's not a standout feature of his game right now. Now, if he continues to hone his skills at the University of Memphis, don't be surprised if we see an evolution in his defensive game. Scouts take. According to Eric Bossy, Mikey is a compact combo guard with offensive prowess that can't be ignored. His athleticism and burst off the dribble are weapons, and he's got a knack for exploiting defensive cracks. The dude is not just a ball handler as he finishes at the rim or draws fouls with finesse. In the grand landscape of basketball, Mikey Williams has earned himself a prestigious four-star ranking. Let's be clear, that's not a crystal ball guaranteeing future success, but it sure is a neon sign pointing to his exceptional talent. Now the question on everyone's mind is, can Mikey transition from high school stardom and college hoops to NBA greatness? Only time will tell. His skills on the court are undeniable, and the potential for greatness is all over his game. A four-star ranking isn't handed out like candy. It's a testament to his prowess. But the path to NBA stardom is not easy. To secure that coveted spot in the NBA draft, Mikey must continue his development both on and off court. It's not just about maintaining, it's about pushing the boundaries of his skills. But the hardwood isn't the only battleground. Off-court challenges are part of the game too. Navigating the twists and turns of life outside the arena has and will test Mikey's resilience. Character and decision-making skills off the court are as crucial as the crossovers and dunks on it. Now, can we definitely say Mikey will make it to the NBA? Nope. The future remains uncertain, and success isn't handed out with a diploma. He has the potential, but the road is long and winding. If he can overcome the challenges and refine his skills, the dream isn't just a dream. Mikey Williams has the potential to not just play in the NBA, but to be one of its shining stars. The Mikey Williams saga is still unfolding. As he steps off the legal court, the next chapters of his story are yet to be written. The show is far from over as it's just getting started. Keep your eyes on the cord and let's see where the journey takes Mikey.